Affinity for guns is apparent. I'm confident you'll find something useful there as well. Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Friday Night Rugalex. With Alfred, that's me. Um, I promised last week that I would play a shooter, and uh, here we are. I uh, considered playing Enter the Gungeon, but uh, Enter the Gungeon might be too good for this show. Too high quality. You know what I mean? So this is Doom the Roguelike, uh, officially now titled D apostrophe apostrophe M R L, because uh, Bethesda is, as is the case with fan games, the parent company is often very very salty. Um, so I love Doom, as I'm sure I've mentioned. The first video I ever made for the channel was that thing where I read the Doom lore. Just Doom guys Wikipedia page. So I tried around a little bit for this game. I played around with it a little. Um, so I know what I'm doing to an extent. Uh, so I'll just go in on Hey Not Too Rough. Marine. Marines are the backbone of the USC. Resilient and hardy. They start with 10 more health points and power-ups they use. Have a 50% duration bonus. Scout. Scouts are agile and have the best intel. They're generally 10% faster and inherently know the location of stairs on any level. A technician. Technicians are the masters of tinkering. They can use consumables almost instantly and hack computer maps for tracking data. Um, I also want to do this. And then, um... Reloader. I'll be Alfred, like I usually am. So as you may have noticed, um... Actually, I'll read this first. The troop is long. You thought it would never end, but hell, a Marine's job is rarely interesting. You hate the UAC. Nothing ever happens here. Now you gotta sit around and wait for your squad mates who were, who were supposed to check out what happened on Phobos. Not knowing what to do to yourself, you lean back near the comm console and listen for news from your fellow Marines. Suddenly, hell, what a bloodbath you hear from the comm. Corpses everywhere. What happened? Look, there's someone there. Oh no. God. It's God. Gunshots. More gunshots? This can't be happening. Help, help, I'm splat. Jake, where are you? What happened? Oh, fuck. Rated M for edge. Bang, 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 slurp, silence. Yeah, that's the most horrific noise. If, if, I'm, <laughs> if I'm reading someone's survival horror, like, note, and I hear a slurp, oh, man, that's, that's trouble right there. So, uh, I've turned on the game audio a lot, because, uh, the music is a little extreme, and I'm gonna turn it down even further. So I initially anticipated that this would be, um, something that builds a roguelike in the Doom engine, because you can do a lot of stuff with the Doom engine. Uh, I was wrong, but I'm honestly not displeased with... How do I... Right. All right. G? Yeah. Cool. So as you may have noticed, this has a, uh, this video has a slightly shorter, slightly shorter runtime than the other ones. Uh, the reason for that is because I was, I was like, man, sometimes I just don't have an hour worth of talking in me. You know? There's only so much that you can say about a randomly generated game. It's not like you're gonna get deep, deep lore. Oh, shotgun them. Let's just reload. Alright. Just what I needed. Yep. So, it's Doom, so you naturally have the ability to change your weps. And as I mentioned, this is going to be a slightly shorter episode, just because uh, I don't know how much I can say about this game, because it is just, it's just Doom, you know? Just exploring around here. I like that it does honestly use, this is a free game, by the way, because uh, of course they couldn't sell this, they would get in so much trouble. Um... 
But yeah, I like how they use just like squashed versions of all the Doom sprites. Like that's that ugly tree that shows up in Hell. I'm gonna turn my noise down a little bit more because I'm not sure if I'm peaking my audio or not. Um, it runs in a window or it runs in a way that's kind of not optimized full screen, which is why the recording might look a little weird. You enter Phobos level two, you feel excited, and you shiver from cold. And mortally wounded. Nice. Whoa. Hmm. Oh wait, I actually did pick up a how do I use it? Cool. I'll take it. You hear the scream of a freed soul. Nice. Oops. Um, Doom is, like, the first true first-person shooter, and as a result, it's very, very fast-paced. Um, oh, right, I forgot to heal myself a little bit. <laughs> you are hit, boom. You reload the shotgun, you're hit, you die, press enter. Alfred, level one human private scout. Killed by a former human on level two of the Phobos base. I survived for 3,206 turns and scored 250 points. He played for 3 minutes and 56 seconds. He didn't like it too rough. He killed 11 out of 21 health spawn. Alright. Uh, oh, here we go. And then, yeah, that was what I died with. Level 2 was killed. And then... Two bear souls I should have felt Two of those were killed. Alright. So this is my other attempt. See, so yeah, that's our first attempt. Um I'm gonna do a couple more, because you know. I wanna do an adequate review of this. So I'll be right back. Hey, and we're back. Not too much time passed. Um, so we can also do custom games. I can't do them yet, but that's all right. Ultra hard. Only the first counts. Angel game. Interesting. And then a custom game. I don't have any installed. Okay. Yeah. Um. Nice. Alright, so we'll just go right back in. Let's see what Marine does. Let's go with Reloader again because I'm boring. Alright. Same all same. Not sure as to where this remix originates from. But it honestly sounds pretty dope. It's extremely heavy. So yeah, just cursory examination tells me that like yeah it's a it's a roguelike you know 
It's not that it's a bad one. It's actually very interesting that they reuse all the Doom assets in this way. Again, I think I would have preferred just seeing what a first-person shooter roguelike actually is. And I feel like you could have done that with the Doom engine because the Doom engine is rather impressive in what it can and can't do. Send it, you sent a passage to a place beyond. All right. Nice hustle. Yep. Knew there was one of you in there. to see uh, a first person D&D game. I know that that might sound kind of weird to explain, but like I want you to point a gun at someone and then wow, that's pretty dope. Like I want you to point a gun at someone and then a die roll happens. nice of that is use all the do oh boy all the doom sound effects you advance to level two for center so we can upgrade our stuff again um yeah look at iron man nothing wrong with just filling out the normal stuff 29 shotgun shells I'm never going to use anything else ever again. The uh, combat knives are scattered throughout the areas to up your prowess with melee. Um, I don't really have interest in grabbing them, to be honest. Uh, I know that, like, you can hit stuff. You could probably even throw them, but I just don't care. Level 3. Wow. Wake up, wake up sergeant, huh? Yeah, it's just... Like, I know that Doom is already the most modifiable game in history. And it's just really cool to see what can be done with this. Nice. Oh, did I use it? No, it's K now. Okay. That was really stupid. What's in these barrels? Explosive. Ooh, and it's chilly. I love that. Nice. So yeah, it's just you know, this is not a bad game at all. It's an ending dang it. <sighs> and again, huh? Yeah, it's just, it's very interesting to see Doom's assets repurposed in this way. I don't think it's my favorite Doom game. Everything seems clear now. Wasn't that nice? Focusing in hardcore because, like, I don't know. For some reason, I feel the need to focus in really hard on this game. Nice. Obviously, the uh, values of healing items have changed. Normally, that small health globe would heal me for a percent, but it would overheal me as well. What the hell? Who is that? Uh. 
Ah, that's who. Shockwave pack. There's a shockwave pack. What is that? Interesting. I don't know what that is. Sure there's a lot of blood in those lost souls. I don't know if that's a cannon. Like there's that thing where they had to make Hakodemon blood uh, blue and brutal doom because it should be, dang it. And like, do lost souls even bleed? I don't think they do. Um, these people then... Jeez. Uh, so the people that made this game have not gone silent. They uh, can't really work on it anymore because uh, Zenimax kind of sucks. Naturally. Oh, so you can just click again. That's nice. I've been hitting G to pick things up. Well, blood surrounds you. Interesting. So you can actually control, control it a lot better with a mouse. Um, if you click on yourself, you just open the... I'll just wait for them to surround you, and then click again. Interesting. Oh, hello. But yeah, because of uh, Bethesda and Zenimax. Ooh, level 3! Yeah, why not? Grab some more. They actually cannot make this game anymore, naturally. It uses Doom assets. Um, modding Doom in the current year is sometimes just kind of weird, because like normally it's a thing like it already said that you can just do whatever the hell you want to with it. Ammo chain, interesting. Doom already said to do whatever you want to with it. But then someone else got, ooh, hello, beautiful. The great communicator. This is what I call a shotgun. You are goddamn right. But yeah, this one, uh, this one got noited by, oh, oh. Phobos reled it, yeah. Can I on, can I drop some of these? Oh nice. Cool, I can. Go back to old faithful. Did that clip me. Um, these people are working on another game. I cannot remember the title. You need to taste blood. Wow, I got so much ammo. Sorry, I was just listening to the music there. Um, these people are working on a new game. I cannot remember the name. I'll put it in the description. Uh, I might play it in, in the future. Oops. Um, I think it's called Jupiter something. Jupiter... I don't want it to be Jupiter something, but I feel like that is... There are stairs leading to the Chained Court. Okay, I never found those when I first played. Welcome to the Chained Court. Interesting. Because I, I know um, I played every Doom game. I haven't beaten 3 or 64. Um, though I've seen the ending of 64, and I uh, am willing to bet that the ending of Doom 3 is not worth it. 
And I've never heard of anything like this. Oh, is that it? Should I go? I will. There is something really valuable here. That was cash money. A bulk mod pack. Oh, this is my least favorite song in Doom, I'll be honest. Alright, is there anything I can use? Let's get rid of this. And then W to where? Nope. Well, it says better than a green ore, but it might not be enough. Uh, minus 10 to move speed. Oh, there we go. So I, I'm going to assume that it works much the same way that it does in Standard Doom. Nice. So Overheal does exist. That's good. Just want to make sure. Overheal is always one of my favorite mechanics in any game ever, but I always feel like, ooh, I gotta be sure. Uh, Envero suit. Can't get there, but I'm wearing an Enviro suit. Do I need something different? Steel boots. Huh. Weird. So maybe the Enviro suit's only for lava now? Because in Doom, you can use the Enviro suit to walk on anything, any floor that damages you. It's an armor shard. What does that do me? Oh, it just fixes your armor. Cool. I should honestly play all the, uh... I should play all the Dooms on, on camera. I've, I've had this idea. I was talking with a friend about um, Gordon Freeman. Half-Life Gordon Freeman. It's a pinky! Do I have any more? Totally don't. Cool. Talking about uh, a friend with Gordon Freeman, and uh, he described. Oh, hello there, sir. Okay, do I put on the boots? Huh, weird. Anyway, Gordon Freeman. We're talking about the concept of him as a human and what he must look like to other people. Because every time Gordon Freeman is in trouble, he reloads a save. And then he comes back where he's not hurt. And I described him as just being incredibly lucky. Uh, but my friend Cameron, who I suspect is not watching, uh, just instead referred to it as, like, to an outside observer with infinite retries, every roll looks like a 20. And I had this idea of, like... Okay, I'm really stuck here. <laughs> Excuse me. I had this idea of... Oh, there we go. You just have to go one at a time. Ah, well. I had this idea of playing Doom, and then reloading a save every time I get hit, and then editing all the uh, reloads together, just to make it into this, like, perfect super run. Alright. I did it. Oh, they still call it a demon here. <laughs> um, so, this enemy is technically called demon, yes, but it's kind of weird to call it that, because every enemy in this game is a demon, so just normal demon is kind of weird. So normally they're called pinkies now. He committed a stupid suicide. I was trying to figure it out. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, tried to, uh, let's just do this. It's be tough. It's be tough as hell. 
Um, I fiddle around with the recording to see if I can get the uh, screen to be a little bigger. It's kind of... Jeez. I am being hurt plenty, I'll say that much. There's a lot of dudes there. I'll be honest, it's also kind of weird to uh, reload stuff in a Doom game. I think the only game with that is Doom 3. Because uh, they try to make it a survival horror game for some stupid reason. Because in every other Doom game, even 2016 in Eternal, you just shoot, and if you have bullets, they go. They don't make you stop to reload. It's kind of interesting, because I think this is produced in the Doom, like, drought. Jeez. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this game was produced in the Doom drought. Where there was a... Uh... What is this? Is this where I died? I think so. Um, anyway, where they, like, Doom 3 came out, and then nothing happened for 10 years? 13 years, maybe? When did Doom 3 come out? And then finally we got Doom 4, maybe, and then eventually that ended up getting turned into Doom 2016. Still can't get over how there are two Doom games in the Doom franchise that are just called Doom. I'm not even going to cut for that. It'll just be L. That's what my tattoo says. So it's kind of interesting, because the thing about Doom is that you kind of have to be very, very evasive. Which is very unique for... It's very unique, because a lot of shooters don't work like that. Because, like, the Halo thing is, like, just get hit and regenerate it back. And overall, Master Chief can take more damage, but the thing is, on the higher difficulties, like... You know, you can't wait to regenerate. But in Doom, you just don't get healed if you don't find anything that will heal you. And so being evasive and running around... And it's not exactly escaping enemies, but just, like... Dancing circles around them. Like, I think someone did the math. Doom Guy's actual speed is ridiculous. It's something like 55 miles an hour. And, like, that's something that I don't really feel from this game as well. It's, you know, it's not a bad game. You know, it's a cool use of... It's a cool use of the assets from Doom. Um, it's a full-functioning roguelike. That was, uh, that was stupid. And, like, I'm having fun playing it, you know? I decided to make an episode on it, not for no reason. Nice. I just keep it going. So can I overheal? No, okay. Nothing happened. Still let me use it though, whatever game. It's gonna be status. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm definitely glad that these people um made a uh, made something out of their game that wasn't a fan game. Because I uh, I recently started playing Pokemon Uranium. I think those episodes will start going up soon. Um you might have even already seen them by now. I can't remember when this goes up. Uh uh, spoilers for my own channel, if uh, that hasn't come up yet, but I'm going to be playing Pokemon Uranium. And, like, there's so much cool stuff in that game. And, like, that game does not even have to be a Pokemon fan game. You don't have to risk getting sued or having your game taken down if you just make that much original content for stuff you don't own. You can just make 
your own game like that, you know? Pokemon Uranium could have just been, like, a PC Pokemon game. Bulletproof Vest. Interesting. Thought so. It's all those, like, Plutonia traps. Just push the button, boom, monsters. They were hiding in the closet, don't worry about it. I won't go that way yet. Well, we're running out of options here. I guess I certainly won't go that way. Maybe I'll just keep exploring. Oh, there's more stuff. Wait, was that? Hi, beautiful. Red armor, huh? What does red armor do? Move speed. If it's gone, you're gone too. Look at this. So it gives you bullet resistance, but only bullet resistance. Well, that's cool. It actually changes my character model. I like that. Or character sprite, I should say. But yeah, these people went on to turn all these mechanics into their own game. Oh, I don't like that. And just made it an original roguelike. I will again link it in the description. Um, because like that's just a really cool idea. I'm like, yeah, it's that thing where like, yeah, if you're gonna make this much original content, dude, that does not have to be a Yikes. That doesn't have to be a mod that you can't sell, you know? For this much work, I would love to be able to buy this. I would love to be able to sell this, you know? And granted, you know. Sometimes these games are just little passion projects, but like, man, if the game is, like, if you're that talented... Nice. Like, dude, get your money, you know? Not to quote the Joker, but we do live in a society. Nice. That isn't the joke I was going to make. Um, you know, if you're good at something, never do it for free. And, like, this is good. You know, these people are good. Might makes light, and I feel mighty. I suppose I'm kind of confused about the turn system in this game as well. But, like, I don't feel bad about it. I get it enough, you know? I really dig this, honestly. Like, this is a cool experience. The, the main thing that I'm not sure about is, like, should this be a Doom game? And, like, I guess, like, that question was asked and answered by the developers themselves because they made a game that is not a Doom game. And like it's a it's a game like this uh, as far as I know, and it just it exists. I love this song. This song I love. Um, I think it's E One M Six. That song drives me absolutely crazy. It drives me up the wall. I don't know what it is. I think it's all the drums, and like the do boo boo ba do. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, it's it's the, it's the normal version of this song. I was recently uh, playing the PS4 port of Doom. It drove me absolutely up the wall to hear this song over and over again. It's all the drum beats. Um, I got stuck in levels. I'm notably uh, very bad at pathfinding in games. Modify weapon armor or boots. Interesting. Let's modify my weapon. Use an agility mod pack. Cool. See, that's some of the stuff that I was looking for. Because in roguelikes, you have way more, like, modability with weapons, essentially. Like, either 
I really like how End of the Gungeon handles it when, like, they're all, like, unique movesets, almost. Alright, let's just D... 50 shotgun shells. Watch this. Wow, fully healed. It's kind of funny that it says, you feel fully healed. It's like, I don't feel it, bro. I am. Oh, don't have armor on. Let's grab this. So yeah, I guess I'll keep going until I die. Which I think might mean that this won't be, uh... 30 minutes, uh, or it might not be, at least. Just gotta be sure. Yeah, this is a very good roguelike, and it's free as well, which is always, like, a plus. Because if someone's willing to make this great of a game, they just give it away. Hell yeah, bro. No power to you. I like, I honestly like how the pathfinding works as well. Three rockets, cool. It's also just kind of satisfying to see your little guy scoot around like that. Okay, Boba's level 7. Uh, I'll be right back, actually. I, uh, I have to go to the bathroom. I should have gone before I started recording. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back, though, sorry. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. Normally I would have just, like, cut, but I don't actually cut in my videos a whole lot. Uh, mostly because I'm bad at editing. So there would have been, like, just a very confusing just jump. Let's just put that there. What does this do? Weapon. I don't can't be modified anymore. Well, let's modify my armor. Okay. Ah, bro. Book mod pack. I recently got to Enter the Gungeon on PSN. It wasn't a sale or anything, I just bought it like a sucker. And, like, I would love to play that game for the show, honestly. Like I said, it might be a little too high quality. Maybe even too new. That's probably fine. Oh boy. Focusing on hardcore, don't mind me. Uh, something that I actually really love. I'm, I'm still figuring out recording in general as evidenced by my ugly, ugly letterboxing on the side of the screen. Uh, I would love to figure out PS4 recording. I know that, like, they made it pretty much automatic. A fire skull. Huh. Interesting. Well, that was, a uh, that sucked. I don't even know what to say about that. Anyway, as I said, as I mentioned, I'm working on recording everything. So there's a certain tension, there's a red armor here. Large health flow. Large health flow. Interesting. I don't like this. I mean, I like it actually, I just don't trust it. Yep, that's about what I thought. Hmm. Nice! Oh, this is a maxed out, interesting. Hmm. Do one more damage. I'll take it. 
Yeah, well, it's about as much as I could have expected. Uh, as I was saying, my plans for this show include, uh, I'm going to run a couple of Bloodborne Chalice Dungeons, because those do technically count as roguelikes. Um, and a lot of it is just going to be me bitching about the Chalice Dungeon, but I digress. Uh, all in all, this is a pretty interesting roguelike. I have the former human rank. Interesting. Yeah, all right. I got spooked by a lost soul. The lost soul hits you. The lost soul hits you. You are hit. Wow, yeah, no wonder. Al, just, he was the biggest. So yeah, unlocking these ranks will unlock these special games. Um, there's obviously a lot more to play and uncover there. Uh, there's weapons that aren't in the original Doom. There's a bunch of stuff that is new to this game specifically. Uh, let me look up where... Let me look up the actual game. Doom RL. Uh, it's called Jupiter Hell. Yeah, Jupiter Hell. And it looks very similar. And, like, it's not a bad thing, because this game was dope. Um, yeah, my biggest thing about it is, like, man, should this game even have been a Doom game? It didn't have to be, you know? But, like, I don't really even have to say that, because they uh, took this game and they made it not a Doom game. So, yeah, make it that what you will. Um, this is a pretty good game. I haven't exactly been rating these, uh, these games. In terms of... Like, roguelikes, this one is a little... I don't know, it feels a little less roguey to me. Uh, and part of that is just because it's more doomy. And then more of its own thing as well. Um, all that isn't a bad thing, though. Oh no, this is a really, really good game. If you aren't sure if you would like Jupiter Hell, uh, this game is perfectly adequate. Eh, that's a good word for this game. This game's adequate, you know? It's just enough. It's got enough of its own ideas. It's got enough of Doom in it to make you feel doomy. But it is still roguelike, definitely. Um, all in all, pretty good game. Uh, and that's Friday Night Roguelikes. I've been Alfred. Thanks for coming by. I'll see you next week. All right. See ya.